there Capricorn welcome welcome to your mid October 2024 love reading okay so let's see what is going on for you so we're going to look into first the real situation where you stand okay now this could be a current love that you're with it could be someone that's new coming in or it could be a past love so we have right now we're starting out with the magician so manifestation tools so right now it says you're good to go for manifesting Ooh, but your energy feels pretty good lately i think you've been through a rough spot and now things are starting to look better so um aries aquarius energy let's clarify that a little more so we have here observer Ooh. You're being observed. Someone is noticing you. Hmm. Okay, let's see what's crossing you. So this would be the biggest like barrier or this could be usually this stands for it often relates to communication. So let's see. Oh, so we have here this is talking about healing here. Surrender, recovery. This would be uh, four swords. It's a healing and recovery. I don't know why I got surrender. <laughs> Maybe someone's surrendering to this. It, I was reading the words, but the surrender came out. So that means something. So there's some kind of um, healing taking place and recovery. You know, sometimes also with the... Maybe someone's going on a vacation, a holiday... Hmm. So we oh winter time. Ooh, winter holiday. <laughs> so there's something about winter. Okay. Let's see. What is the best thing you can do? Let's look at that. What would be the best thing you could do? Oh, okay, you could wait, be patient. I mean, of course, winter, if you're waiting for someone to come back in here, uh, you're manifesting something and it might not really come in until winter. There's got to be a reason for it. And this is telling you the best thing to do is wait. So three of wands, let's see. There might be other things that have to fall into place. You know, like everything is, you know... Maybe your person has to go through some something. You have to go through something. Something has to be completed. You know, there's so many things. That, oh, we have the divine ma masculine here. So this could be the divine masculine in this situation is waiting results. So you have to wait for them. If you're the feminine, you know, take it whichever. If you're the masculine, then saying that you're waiting for something to happen here. Okay, so let's now look at the karmic tides. Or past lives with this. Whoa. Okay, so there was a heavy burden with this connection in the past life. Hmm. Let's see. Self worth. Ooh. You know, whoever this is, you'll know if it's you or your person, if you know this person already, that someone is not, you know, they got to make sure that they know their own self-worth, whether it's your energy or your person's. And that is a burden here because, you know, someone might have stepped all over the other person. So that means someone has to step up for themselves, say, no, I'm not going to take this anymore. <laughs> and stand up for yourself. Okay, so now let's look at... Um, why you guys are together, were together, or going to be together? What's the purpose of you guys being together at one point here? Let's see. Hmm. We have the Ace of Wands because there's sparks. <laughs> there's passion. There's sparks. You guys excite each other. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I understand that. <laughs> Let's see. 
The Ace of Wands. Chemistry. Oh. So there's signs. You you know, you received signs when you were with this person or you knew this was meant to be or there's something that you felt something with this person or you will if you haven't met this person yet. So, yeah. There's some kind of, oh. Yeah, some kind of spark. The sign was like, whoa, who is this? <laughs> you know, it's like someone you meet someone, next thing you know, your toes are curled. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Um, so let's see about the future influences. Okay, yes. See, that's the whole thing. There's a quality here. There has the Six of Pentacles. There has to, that was a burden, self-worth. Someone was like always taken. The other person was always giving. And the other person that was given all the time was getting depleted. That was a burden. And the other person was just kept on taking, taking, taking. Well, there has to be a quality in this situation. So let's see what we get on that. Oh, it's a tribe. Okay, there's going to be, you're coming into, in the future, you're meeting your tribe here, or you're, if you haven't already, and there's going to be equality here. You're going to know that this is the, the tribe you're supposed to be in, the group you're supposed to be in. Okay, and this person will probably be part of that tribe then. Okay, so now, let's see, how, what's your impression of this situation? How is, what is your perspective on this connection? Oh, strength. Restraint. <laughs> you know what? There's a strong chemistry. And so that's why there's... I love... I mean, he looks so grumpy. I just want to hug him. <laughs> Not that I like grumpy people, but it's, I could do that with animals. With people, no. I'll just say, <laughs> later for you. <laughs> if you're grumpy. I don't want to have anything to do with it. But but an animal like this. Is, look, look how grumpy he looks. <laughs> I just think he's adorable. Okay, so someone has to hold back here. There's some kind of strength. Maybe you feel like, you know, this could be, if you're the one who is treated wrong, unfairly, you know, then you're saying, I have to, I know I'm very attracted to this person. There's chemistry. They, oh, they push my buttons in such a way that no one else could, <laughs> but I have to restrain myself. Okay, so that's the energy I'm feeling here. Let's see. And, this, and it feels to me like no one else ever did that before. You know, it's like, hey, I'm not like, this is not my normal thing. So this is, yeah, you have to, you're wanting to refocus on something here. <laughs> you say, <saying>, okay, <laughs> they got me in la la land. I got to refocus. I got to bring myself in. So that's what it is. It might be like you have to get control of yourself. You say, you can't go just for the chemistry, the passion, the desire. You know, it sounds nice, but you know, there has to be more to it. There has to be some kind of substance, right? <laughs> and a lot of you say no. <laughs> but yes, there does. This, yes, there does. <laughs> what the hell kind of English is that? Oh my God. I feel, I'm high on this energy here. I, uh, whew. <laughs> I tap into someone's energy. I don't know if you guys get high together or what it is, but I think it's just the energy of each other. Like you don't need any kind of, um, influence on, on drugs or, or alcohol or anything like that because i think together you guys are just like Hoo -hoo. <laughs> Cause that's what i feel right now okay so let's see about their perspective on this this should be interesting what is their perspective hmm King of Cups, emotional mastery. See, someone's trying to keep their emotions intact here. You guys really, you know, you guys get each other going. Well, wow. okay, and this is the first um, court card. So let me get a charm on this. This could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Doesn't have to be. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Destiny. Okay, let's clarify this.
divine timing okay so the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with or dealt with so you're saying you guys are going to be together in divine timing but you guys are both trying to rein in this um passion this um desire that i think whew, when you guys do get together holy moly the sparks are gonna fly <laughs> okay so now let me get the um the words on this king of cups here and guys i i did um upload you know the house spreads that everybody likes i i'm doing the monthly ones on youtube and i'm doing the mid months on rumble and i just did the house spreads for capricorn um i just posted it yesterday okay so we have fear always is it <sighs> yeah Th because you know the, the the thing is that you guys both never felt this before about anyone else so it's getting you both nervous so here there's always fear here and it's like is it is this right isn't it oh my gosh i never felt this before that's the energy i'm feeling so let's see how your energy actually flows together let's take a little peek at that how does your energy flow together Ooh, we have the star universal alignment yes yeah, see you're like you could feel this connection so strongly aquarius energy the star hopes and wishes dreams come true the, and then you feel like you get you feel aligned you feel aligned maybe a little like ooh, up there but you don't feel aligned okay so you work well together oh we have the dot divine feminine here wow and that's on the star. Look how we have the divine mat and the... Oh my God, that is amazing that the both cards came out. So it feels... So the divine feminine, I would say, is that when you guys are together, you're very creative. Because that's the divine feminine, right? Creativity. It's the empress. It's um, giving birth to something new. Abundance. Wow. So right now waiting for to have more of control over situation <laughs> okay i think you're both afraid to come together <laughs> like, whoa this is intense as i said this this is a very intense read wow okay so then we have to look at the possible outcome for you guys what is the possible outcome oh okay we have the knight of swords and this is decisive action. All of a sudden, something's going to take off. This is going to happen very quickly. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. But this is, the, yeah, all of a sudden, something's going to really take off. We have here, yeah, there's going to be balance brought into the situation. It could be a contract. So it could be marriage. Libra energy. Scales of balance here. Okay. A couple more. And we have the Ten of Swords, so painful ending. Something might have to end in order to, for you guys to come together. It could be someone's ego. I mean, it could be so many different things. But there is something that's painful to end that needs to happen. So, ooh. We have the Page of Wands. Excitement and curiosity. Yeah. After this ending... It's going to be some kind of communication here. Okay, so we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have a dog. We have loyalty. We have friendship. It feels like you guys are just going to really connect here. And then what you don't see coming is a Six of Wands. So this is success and recognition. You guys are going to succeed being together here. And you're going to, your souls know each other, you know, and they know how important this connection is. You got the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine here. So. This is a power couple coming together. Okay. Victory. 
Okay, let's see about this Knight of Swords. What's the scoop on this Knight of Swords? Oh, here we go with the fear again. There, this is um so uncertain, so fearful because this is haven't neither one of you felt this before. So it's coming in with fear, but it feels like someone's pushing through it anyway. If that's the divine masculine, it may be coming towards you afraid because of this. They never felt this vulnerable, this open, this, you know, and, but they're going to do it anyway. But there has to be an ending here. So what's with the Ten of Swords? Let's see. Got two for this. So we have awakening and then we have balance and scales. Someone is, okay, see, that's the whole thing. This was not in balance, and the whole and we have the scales, and that's why this person is fearful. This is probably whoever that has to come forward that's saying, "Okay, I have to make things right." Again, balance the scales, and this is awakening to the fact that you guys are counterparts, and it needs to bring something to balance. But in order to bring something to balance, something has to end. It might, be, I think, it's someone's ego. That's why they were like take 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 or like a narcissistic energy maybe maybe it's not that drastic but for someone it might be okay so now let's see about the page of wands oh we have a conclusion here we have the key there is you know this is realizing something this is knowledge the conclusion is you guys are meant to be together. And here's the key to open that door, right? We have here commitment, success commitment. So in the end, you will be in a commitment, but someone has to work through some stuff. Someone has to um, wake up to the fact that they were being very unfair for this connection to come together. Okay, so let's get the words on this Knight of Swords. We have the X thoughts serious. Okay. The X is realizing this is serious. <laughs> They're coming to the realization. Yeah, this is it. This is the real deal. Okay, what about the page of wands? Love. Tower. Surprise, surprise. And then we have denying caring okay so there's something coming uh, um unexpected out of the blue this person's showing up and they might have been denying they cared or they might be doing that to i almost feel like someone's doing that to tell others it's almost like throw them off you know your best bet especially in a love connection sometimes is to not let other people know what's going on because their energy can interfere just even thinking about it or if there's someone that doesn't want you to be with this person and or they don't, someone doesn't want your person to be with you they can throw some energy at it that could be you know not good so i think someone here is denying that they actually care for you or you are for them and it's actually more of a protection okay let's see Let's get the signs that you can be dealing with. Placement in your chart, placement in other people's chart, past, present, and future. Let's see what we get here. Leo. Capricorn. Cancer. Scorpio, Capricorn again, and Virgo. Okay, so placement in your chart, placement in other people's chart, past, present, and future. Leo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, and Virgo. Now we'll do the letters. 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both someone's first and last initials and they have a middle name, you know that middle name. You get that initial also all the better. Past, present, and future also your own initials. We have U, P, we got up, V, M, 
O N. So we have Monday, we have on, okay, we have J. And don't forget, guys, if you want a personal reading, below in the description box is an email address. Shoot me an email and just put personal reading in the subject line. And I'll send you the information. Okay, we have D. L P and A. The letters we have for today are U P V M O N J D L P A. All right, guys. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments your donations, your super thanks, and also thank you so much for choosing me to do your personal readings. I am so honored that you chose me. Thank you so much. It's been a ha I've been having a ball doing them. Too. <laughs> I'm a little tired. I've been busy, but I am so grateful, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.